Hello everybody, it's Sarah and today I want to talk to you about my June TBR which for the most part will be my whateverathon TBR which is a readathon that's gonna run for the entirety of June and it's literally just about reading whatever but basically you have some prompts that you can fulfill, you don't have to but if you fulfill the prompts you can gain points for yourself also for your team and if you're still interested in joining I will leave all the info videos link down below so go and check those out. But now let's get into my TBR. I decided that for whatever thon I'm gonna pledge 15 books so one book per prompt even though I know we don't have to fulfill all prompts and we technically can have multiple prompts per book but I still wanted to have you know one specific book, primary book per prompt, even if I will then possibly put multiple prompts per book. I hope that makes sense. It probably only made sense if you know the rules of whatever I thought, but whatever. So yeah, I'm also obviously on team Epic and High, so the I guess, you know, I read mostly Epic and High fantasy. It's like obviously I'm on that team. But yeah, now let's go through the prompts and let me tell you which book I have for each prompt. So the first prompt is a cover that reminds you of a pride flag and for that I chose A Dark Queen Rising by Ashok K. Banker. This is the second book in the Burnt Empire Saga which is a Mahabharata, Mahabharata, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, it's inspired by one of the great Indian epics. Ashok K. Banker is also an Indian author. This book also is on my TBR for my international fantasy video, which will be coming sometime this year. No promises made. But yeah, so this is kind of an epic fantasy retelling of one of the great Indian epics. That was a lot of epic. Anyway, the reason why I chose this for this prompt is because there's a lot of pink, there's a lot of orange, not a lot of orange, there's a bit of orange and so if I kind of squint I can kind of see the colors of the lesbian pride flag so that's why this one was chosen for this prompt. Also it's epic fantasy so I'm gonna get additional points for it being my team genre and the other two prompts that I could technically probably fulfill with this one as well is I think disability or mental health rep because in the first book there was a blind character. I'm not sure if he's still in the second book though or how much of a role he'll play so I'll decide that once I finish the book if I'm gonna count it for that prompt and it's also written by a BIPOC author obviously because it's by an Indian author. The second prompt is to reread a comfort read and for that I have Skyward by Brandon Sanderson which was the first book in his YA space opera series, the third book where the new name or not the new name, the title was just announced this week and it's Cytonic and I do not like the title, I like the working title nowhere even more but anyway the third book is coming out in November and so I had intended to reread the first two books anyway so that's a perfect chance to pick this up. This series, as I said, is a space opera series and we follow Spencer, whose father used to be a fighter pilot. She lives on this planet where there's aliens constantly attacking the humans. Her father, as I said, used to be a fighter pilot, which is also why it's Spencer's dream to become one herself. However, in a very crucial battle, her father fled and was then branded as a coward, which is why the academy where all the fighter pilots go to be educated as fighter pilots won't accept Spencer but Spencer won't give up. So yeah that's what this book is about. Excited to give it a reread because it is one of my favorite Brandon Sanderson's and it's pretty much the only sci-fi that I really really love of the few that I've read so far. <laughs> Prompt number three is a five star prediction and for that I actually do have another sci-fi and that is A Memory Called Empire by Arcady Martin. I'm not quite sure what this is about but it was described to me as a colonial linguist sci-fi space opera political sci-fi and yeah it was hyped to me a lot and from what I've heard of it and from you know the few quotes that I've heard of it I believe that this is definitely definitely going to be a five-star prediction for me like I cannot imagine this not becoming a five star for me. I'm almost 100% certain. 
Additional points that I could also get for this book is 100 points for LGBT rap because I think there is Sephic rap, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if there's any other LGBT rap additionally. Then also other prompts I can use this for is I believe BIPOC author, although I'm not 100% sure on that. Out of my comfort zone technically because this is a sci-fi I don't tend to read sci-fi very often and I tend to go into them very hesitantly. And then the fourth prompt I think I could technically use this for is buddy read because I believe a few of us from the Crab Along Discord channel are gonna buddy read this in June. Prompt number four is an author debut for which I chose The Wolf and the Woodsman where I forgot what the author was but you'll see it on the insert here who the author is. And yeah, this is a debut. This, as far as I know, is historical fantasy that is Eastern European mythology inspired, Jewish mythology inspired, and so on. And yeah, it's one of my most anticipated releases of 2021. And it's coming out in June, and so I'm excited to get to it. Hopefully right away in June. Also, I don't really know enough about this to know whether or not it would get me any additional points aside from that one prompt. Prompt number five is out of your comfort zone and for that I have L'Archipel en Feu by Jules Verne. The reason why this is out of my comfort zone is because I am reading it in French, which is still very much out of my comfort zone. We'll see how much I'll understand. I do not know what this book is about, but yeah, excited to get to it, kind of. I mean, it's gonna be my first Jules Verne, which again, I probably won't be able to tell whether or not I like Jules Verne, but he has been one of the authors I want to get to for a very, very long time. So I'm at least excited for that. Prompt number six is hauled in the last year. And I mean, most of the books that I didn't pick off of my shelves could count for this because, you know, most of the books I read are books that I have just bought because I tend to try to buy books and then read them right away. But in this case I actually am going to talk about a book that I have not yet bought and that is The Dark Prophecy by Rick Riordan, which is the second book in the Trials of Apollo series. The Trials of Apollo is the third series in his Greek myth-inspired Riordan verse. I mean, in the series in his Riordan verse that's inspired by Greek myth. That's what I meant. And yeah, in this one we follow the god Apollo because it's called The Trials of Apollo, who has been turned into a mortal and we follow him as he tries to be turned back into a god. And so yeah, I think aside from just the prompt of it being hauled in the last year, which again, I have not bought it yet, <laughs> I'm gonna buy it, I think I'm also gonna get points for LGBT rep because I'm not 100% sure, but I believe Apollo is bisexual. Need to check that out still. And yeah, I think... I think that's it for additional points on this one. Question number seven is indie or self-pub and for that I have The Four Profound Weaves by R.B. Lemberg. This is another one of the books that is on my TBR for my international fantasy video. It was originally on my TBR for May but when I saw this prompt I thought I'd pull it over into June. And yeah, this is once again kind of folklore inspired and there's also a lot of queerness within this story as far as I've heard, so I'm gonna get additional points for that. I don't think the author counts as BIPOC author, I'm not 100% sure though, still need to check that out. And this also counts for, you know, team genre, so because it is high fantasy, I believe, I'm quite sure, so yeah. That's the seventh book on my TBR. Prompt number eight is BIPOC representation and for that I chose The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Sudi, who is a Desi author, I believe. I believe that's the right word. Anyway, uh, this is a sapphic adult high fantasy and we follow a princess and her handmaid and them trying to regain the princess's throne something along those lines. This also is the monthly pick for my book club of Queen's Witches and Valkyries. We'll read one adult high fantasy book written by a woman or genderqueer person per month. So if you're interested in joining along on that buddy read, links will be left in the description down below. Because of that, of course, I can also choose this book for buddy read. I can also choose this book for a poll because the buddy reads are always chosen via a poll. 
I will also get points for LGBT representation and because it's the team genre. So there's gonna be a lot of points all in all for this book. I think probably like the maximum amount of points, almost the maximum amount of points I could get for one book. So yeah, but I'm really excited to get to that and I'm gonna hope it'll arrive early in the month. But yeah, I haven't had luck with that recently <laughs> with the book club reads, so we'll see how that goes. Prompt number nine is a book that was chosen via a poll and for that I put a poll in the whatever a -thon Discord server and the books that I had for choice on that poll were The Steppenwolf by Hermann Hesse, also Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funke and Tree Song, which is the last book in the Books of Pelennor series by Alison Krogan. However, the book that ended up being chosen was The Collected Plays by Oscar Wilde, which I've had on my TBR, physical TBR, for quite a long time. By the way, all of these books were books from my physical TBR. And yeah, I'm gonna hope I'm gonna read through it quite quickly because I tend to read plays quite quickly, although I don't always tend to enjoy them all that much. So I'm gonna be interested to see how it goes. Also, this, I guess, would also count for LGBT representation because Oscar Wilde, after all, was gay. Also, it would count for out of my comfort zone, I guess, because as I said, I'm not usually the most comfortable reading plays. And I think that's it. I cannot think of it now. I'm trying to think of which other prompts it would always fulfill, but, you know, it's not always the easiest. Prompt number 10 is a book that would fit a TBR game prompt and at the time of filming this I haven't yet watched a lot of June TBRs so I don't know what prompt I'm gonna use yet but I know the book already which is gonna be The Dark Talent by Brandon Sanderson which is the latest book in the Alcatraz vs. the Evil Librarian series. This is Brandon Sanderson's middle grade series following a boy from a family who all have very weird talents. For example, our main character has the talent to break things. His grandfather has the talent to always be too late and so on. And I am sure I will find a TBR game with a prompt that fits this book or where the book fits the prompt. So yeah, that's my book for that. Prompt number 11 is Buddy Reader Book and for that I'm choosing White Sand Volume 2, also by Brandon Sanderson. I'm reading so many Brandon Sanderson this month or next month, I guess. But anyway, this is the second volume in his graphic novel series, which is part of his bigger Cosmere universe. And I'm, of course, in 2021, I am taking part in the Crab Along, which is a read-along for all the Cosmere books. And June is all the White Sand graphic novels. I have read the first one this month, last month, I want to say. This month, in May already. And so I'm gonna continue on with volume two and volume three in June. And since it's a read-along, we're all kind of just body reading it together, so that's what I chose for this prompt. Prompt number 12 is disability or mental health rep and for this I chose The Last Argument of Kings which is the third and final book in Joe Abercrombie's first law trilogy. This is called a grimdark <laughs> trilogy but basically it's a fun series with a lot of morally not grey but black characters whom you follow who are preparing for a few different wars. I don't know I'm I'm still kind of murky on what actually is happening, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I really enjoyed the first two books and the reason why I chose this for disability rap is because one of the main characters, Glotka, is disabled, arguably. Um, he has a history of having been tortured and since then he is first of all in chronic pain and second of all he needs a cane, I believe, that was it. Like, he has troubles walking because his legs don't work properly anymore. And so yeah, that's why I chose this for this prompt, but other prompts or points I can get with this one is also buddy read, because I am buddy reading the entire series. I can also get points for team genre, and I believe that is it. So yeah, really excited to finish this series, then continue on with the standalones, and then continue on with the new trilogy in the first, war first law world. Three prompts left. Prompt number 13 is a bookish content creator's favorite book or a book that's on a favorite list. 
And for that, I didn't technically choose a book that's on a favorite list. I mean, I don't believe, but this content creator has told me that this book is a book that they loved a lot and that is a favorite, I believe. So that's why I'm going with this book. And the book is Daughter of the Empire by Jenny Wirtz and Raymond E. Feist. And this book was gifted to me for Christmas by Cleo from Bemuo's Bookworm with, you know, high recommendations. And so I definitely finally need to get to this. I don't really know what it's about. I only know that it is a high fantasy and that it is set in Raymond E. Feist's, I think, Serpent War World series thing. So yeah, but excited to get to this. Uh, actually, the longer it has set on my shelf, the more excited I have become to read this. But the only additional points I think I can get for this is because it's the team genre. Prompt number 14 is a cover with your team color. The color for Team Epic and High is black. And so I thought this book is quite black, you know, and it's time that I'll finally read The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. Last year I finally finished The Lord of the Rings. So this book is still left and I gotta read it. It's been on my shelf for way too long. And so, yeah, this is kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but I believe it's kind of the lore or the history of Middle-earth a little bit, or parts of the history of Middle-earth. So, yeah, very, very excited to get to this. And then the last prompt, prompt 15, is a book that starts with the last letter of the book before that. And since the book before that was The Silmarillion, it starts with an N, I decided A's and D's don't count and I'm gonna read A Natural History of Dragons by, I believe the author's name is Marie Brennan, who is one of the authors of the author duo M.A. Carrick, who wrote one of my favorite books so far this year, which was The Mask of Mirrors. And A Natural History of Dragons I believe is it's not historical fantasy, I believe, but it's set in this world that is very inspired by Victorian England and we follow a paleontologist, kind of, except that she's a paleontologist for dragons. That's, that's what I believe the series is about. <laughs> but yeah, so that was all the prompts for the Whateverathon TBR. Now I have a few books left on a general TBR that I might want to get to once I'm done with my whatever a thon TBR. The first of these books is Kalpa Imperial, The Greatest Empire That Never Was by Angelica Gorodisha. I don't know how to pronounce the name. I hope I pronounced this correctly, but this last name, I gotta be honest, confuses me. Because it kind of feels Eastern European, like it kind of, to be honest, it kind of feels Austrian. It kind of feels like these last names that were Austrianized but that originally came from Eastern European countries or like the Slovakia, Hungary, these countries and it's by an Argentinian author so yeah I just think there's a lot of influences in this last name and that makes me absolutely not certain how I'm supposed to pronounce this name <laughs> confuses me a lot but yeah, this is also on my TBR for my international fantasy video, although I believe it's not a full-length novel, but it's just a short story collection. It also was translated by Ursula K. Le Guin. And yeah, I'm very excited to get to this and hopefully can get to it in June. Then also because I didn't get to it in May, I want to get to The Ambassador's Mission by Trude Canavan, which is the first book in the Traitor Spy trilogy, which is the sequel trilogy to the Black... not Tools, Black Magicians trilogy. And yeah, I can't really tell you what this is about because it is a sequel trilogy, but we follow some of the characters from the first trilogy, but also some of their children, I believe. And yeah, excited to get to this finally. Didn't find the time in my... it's just that simple. And since I tried to fit quite a few of my physical TBR onto my whatever I found TBR, I'm not gonna pull any books from that TBR chart for this month. I'm also not gonna pull any books from my random TBR chart this month. However, I do want to pull something from my series TBR chart. So let's go for that. Ooh, it's an orange one today. Not a yellow one. And this is the David Bard trilogy by S.A. Chakraborty. So I'm gonna continue on with, I think the second one is Kingdom of Copper. 
This is a kind of Eastern Asian inspired high fantasy, historical fantasy, portal fantasy. I don't know. It's like some somewhere in there. And we follow a young woman who accidentally, um, what's it called, summons a djinn and then gets taken to this magical city. And so yeah, excited to continue on with this trilogy. But yeah, that was it for a very long TBR video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and also maybe subscribing. As always, if you have any thoughts on the books that I talked about that I'm gonna plan on reading, leave those thoughts in the comments down below. Also leave it in the comments down below if you're interested in buddy reading any of these books or joining any of the buddy reads. All the links to my social media are in the description box down below, so go and check those out. All the links to my book club, as I said, are also left in the description box down below, so go and check those out as well. And with all of that said, I hope I'll see you soon. Bye!